uh, address 11 is going to be written back to the memory address register. So the memory address register line goes high again and we have a 1011 uh, or decimal 11 feeding in from the exchange register inputs straight into the, the J and K inputs of the memory address register plus the control line of move the address portion of the exchange register into the memory address register. That line is high, so there's a 1 feeding in from that control line into our AND gates, and then also the values from the, uh, the first six bits of the exchange register, which is decimal 11, feeding into these AND gates as well. That puts a uh, one one zero one zero zero into our input of our memory address register a moment later the clock line falls and now we have ad uh, address 11 on our memory address register output which in turn feeds into our memory address re uh, register decoder which turns on a uh, memory 11 line high which points to uh, memory address 11 in our uh, in, in the computer in the Simcoe memory uh, which assuming that the the window is open that would be a uh, uh, 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and a 1 on, on the ninth bit of memory When the, uh, when the clock line falls, that value of 1 is going to be written onto the output of memory. And a moment later, uh, T4, the, uh, the timing decoder goes to T4, so we have T4, we're still on the fetch. That uh, feeds into add uh, one to the value that's in, in the location counter, which was one. So now uh, it feeds through a series of AND and OR gates, which is going to end up writing a uh, decimal two or binary uh, zero 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 one zero into the inputs of our location counter when the clock line falls again this is going to be written into the output of the location counter so that when it comes time to load the next instruction into memory it's going to uh, be pointing to the uh, address at two, address two, memory address two. Clock line falls, and there's no at T4, T5, and six. There's no more uh, instruct. There's no more uh, instructions to carry out a fetch. So uh, operation continues up to T7. Again, the fetch execute flip flight turns on, and uh, cause ultimately causing. Uh, the computer to toggle from fetch back into execute. If we have the add line on now, we're in execute. A moment later, we're in T0. So this is the first step for adding uh, the value of uh, it was address 11, which is input to the accumulator. So we can also check the computer can check and see if the window is actually opened. So uh, the first thing to do is to load the contents of memory into the exchange register, or uh, we know that the window is open, so that's going to be uh, binary one or decimal one. It's going to be loaded into the exchange register, so that move the memory address register in the exchange register, control line goes high. If you, if you uh, look down at the Towards the bottom of the computer, you can find the uh, move the memory address register in the exchange register control line. 
feeding into a series of AND gates, which in turn feeds into the exchange register. Uh, that line to these uh, AND gates is high. Also, there's a, just a, a decimal one feeding in to bit nine. All the others have zero. When the clock line falls, we're going to end up with decimal one on the exchange register. The clock line falls. A moment later, the decoder goes into line or time T1 from T0 through at T1 and execute and add. And that's to add the contents of the exchange register and the accumulator and write it back to the accumulator. So the accumulator has a zero in it and we have a one in the exchange register. These in turn feed in to a full adder, a full adder, excuse me. It, the sum, the sum bits, which in turn feed back into uh, a series of AND gates, which lead back into the uh, JK inputs of the accumulator, uh, the bits to the accumulator register, which uh, the this control line add exchange register and accumulator and and store the contents back to the accumulator. That control line is high, so that enables these sum bits to be written into the inputs of the accumulator register. When the clock line falls, it's going to output that sum. It's going to write that sum onto the output of the accumulator bits. So you have a, a, a 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 on the accumulator. There are no more uh, instances. So now the uh, the contents of of the input memory address that which is uh, the window being opened has been written onto the accumulator, and uh, there's no more instructions necessary to carry out the ad. The ad has been carried out, so the clock proceeds uh, uh, counting from T1 up to T7, when the T7 line goes high, the trigger fetch uh, execute flip-flop goes on, toggling the uh, fetch, fetch execute flip-flop from uh, execute back to fetch. The, the fetch line goes high, and uh, that's going to turn on the move the location count, which is kind of what's in the location counter into the memory address register uh, which happens to be address 2 now so address 2 uh, is going to uh, be loaded into the memory address register which is going to point to address uh, 2 in, in memory which is to subtract a 1 that from uh, the accumulator which happens to be uh, 0010101010 in memory, that's going to be written onto the uh, output of our of our memory, which will feed back into the exchange register. Um, so that's what's going to happen during the, the fetch, as we as we've covered several times now. That's what's going to happen during the fetch operation of the Simco. Uh, the, the final step will be to increment the location counter. To uh, from a, a two to a three, so we have one one binary, one one sitting in our location counter, and we have the instruction to subtract what's at address uh, const one which is uh, address 10 that's sitting in the uh, address portion of the exchange register
So zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, and subtract is zero, zero, one. So the content, so we're still in the fetch. The uh, location counter has been incremented to point to three. Uh, memory address register still have three in it, and uh, the clock continues to T7. Uh, that fit triggers the fetch execute flip flop to flip back to the execute command. We have uh, the subtract subtract line. Control line is now high. We're in execute. Moment later, we're in, in, in T0. So the first operation is going to be to, to write the contents uh, of the memory address register into the exchange register. That happens again uh, to be a 1, because we're going to try to subtract a 1 now from the accumulator. So we have uh, decimal one again feeding into the in, uh, input of our exchange register uh, with the move the contents of memory into the exchange register control lines high and a decimal one also feeding into these AND gates which in turn uh, writes a uh, decimal one into the input of the exchange register when the clock line falls falls binary one is similarly written into the exchange register and then a moment later the T1 line goes high and that is to uh, inverse uh, invert the bits of the exchange register so now a 1 is written on to the J's the J inputs of our exchange register and the K's all have a zero on it except for the final bit When the clock line falls, we've inverted the exchange register. So we got one, 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 one. Zero. A moment later we go to T2 which is to add the contents of the exchange register and the accumulator and write that to the accumulator so the exchange register currently has binary 1 in it we're getting ready to add one, 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 zero, plus a one. So we'll have a full one. One's in every bit added to the accumulator. Once the clock line falls, 